Welcome in, it's Greg from Mighty Studios, here to show you the world's first IPEX 3D printer, or independent paired extruder configuration. To build it, I took an IDEX printer and swapped out its dual extruder design for two pairs of extruders, one on each x-axis carriage. This gives us a total of four filament extruders in a single print, or dual extruders on each side of a mirrored print. The donor machine was a JG Maker Artist D IDEX printer that I found on clearance. In a previous video, we already improved this printer by swapping out the z-axis lead screws. Click the link to go check out that project. To build the IPEX, we start by removing the extruders and wiring from the IDEX printer. This leaves two mounting plates we can hook our new design onto. Each carriage of the IPEX is designed around the Chimera dual filament hot end from E3D, with a pair of dual drive extruders feeding filament through very short Bowden tubes. They're not quite direct drive, but it's really close. Tinkercad was used to design the parts which I printed on my old printer. The back plate is where everything will mount and it's held onto the base plate with two side clamps. The Chimera is then mounted to the plate using brass standoffs. And finally, the fan shroud is placed on top containing one fan to cool the heatsink and another to cool the print. The brass standoffs allow air to move all around the heatsink on the Chimera. This helps protect the 3D parts from deforming under heat. NEMA 17 low profile steppers were used on each extruder. This allows extra clearance between the carriages and the frame, as well as reducing weight. In fact, the new dual extruder carriages actually weigh less than the original JG Maker carriages, even though they double the extruder count. Given all the additional motors, we had no choice but to pull the original control board and replace it with the Big Tree Tech Octopus. This board can easily power all the motors needed in our design, and runs Marlin firmware quite well. I had to cut a new access hole in the case to make it work, which isn't pretty, but it works. By the way, if this is the first time you're seeing my wiring skills, just remember this is one of my cleaner rat nests. So we do a test print with all the bare wires and it looks pretty good. I had to write a custom version of the Marlin firmware that allowed the IPEX configuration to work on the Octopus board. This being the first printer of its kind that's not unexpected. Links to my custom version of Marlin on GitHub are in the notes. A little wire bundling and all that's left is to call this project complete. At least for now. I got lots more improvements in mind for this Franken printer. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I really do live for the feedback. And if you're a 3D printer, filament, or electronics company who'd like to sponsor this kind of shenanigans, please get in touch. Four extruders means I'm gonna need a lot more filament. Oh man, I hadn't considered that. Alright, well, see you next time. Thanks for watching.